Good morning. Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works. And thank God he so desires to answer your prayers. In Isaiah chapter 56 verse 7, it was prophesied, For mine house shall be called an house of prayer for all people. And then in uh, two places, but the one I'm going to uh, quote you, in Mark 11:17, Jesus said this, Is it not written, My house shall be called of all nations the house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. So the heart of God is that his house be a house of prayer, a house where you go to him and ask and receive what you've asked for. And that's what we're looking at, is what is the heart of God concerning prayer? You know, you can't know it by feelings, experience. It doesn't matter if anybody ever had their prayers answered. You go to the Word and find out what does the Word say about this. So let's look at Mark eleven twenty four, that awesome classic scripture on prayer. What things soever you desire, when you pray, believe, you receive them, and you shall have them. Now, you've probably heard from the pulpits, from ministers, or from people, that God will say no. He may say no, he may say yes, and he may say maybe when you ask him for a prayer. So you can never really go to him in faith with that thought process. That's not what God said. So whoever is ministering that, they are uh, telling you lies of the devil. Because God said, we saw that in Matthew 7, 7, ask and it shall be given unto you. And then here in Mark eleven twenty four, what things, notice he said things, things can be anything you so ever desire, that you desire, that you desire. So what's the first step? Is what do you desire? And notice he did not say what can you afford. You know, in the world, people get based on their occupation, based on their, um, their wherever they work, based on their education, but it's not that way in the kingdom. In the kingdom, every person has equal opportunity to go to the Father and claim the promises. In the kingdom, you are in the house of God. He said there is neither Jew nor Greek, male nor female, bond nor free. That's talking about servants, male or female. You're all one in the kingdom. So it doesn't matter if you were, so to speak, born on the other side of the tracks. It doesn't matter. You're in the Father's house now where you can go to the Father and what things soever you desire when you pray. Believe you receive them and you shall have them. I remember when we were first learning this and it was just, oh, it just opened up the whole kingdom to us, a whole new avenue of that we were no longer limited. And our youngest son, Matthew, at the time, he latched hold of this. What things soever you desire. Well, one of the first things he prayed for was a baby sister. And he got her. And then another time, I remember we had a stray dog show up at our house. And he had his collar on. And his name was Sundance. And um, there was a telephone number so we called because we didn't want to take somebody else's pet but Matthew just dearly loved this dog and so we called to ask you know if they wanted him and they said no uh, and they told us the situation so they said you're welcome to him well a couple of days later Matthew remember he must have been five or six at the time he said I just remembered he had a stuffed animal called Duffy dog that he would, you know how uh, children will get attached to an animal or a blanket or something. He loved his Duffy dog. Well, a couple of days later, he remembered, I asked God that Duffy dog would come alive. 
This dog, Sundance, looked just like Duffy Dog. It was a live Duffy Dog in person. And then another time, Matthew, I mean, he, he latched hold of the word of ask, and it shall be given unto you. And we had taught them the law of sowing and reaping. Well, he had prayed for a bird, and someone gave him some money at, um, came up and to, to us and said, um, the Lord told me that Matthew's praying for something, and here is the money for it. And so he said that he was praying for a bird. So he took the money and bought a cockatiel. Well, then later he decided to give, he got more cockatiels. He wanted to give them one away. He said, I want a horse. And so he said, I'm going to sow this cockatiel and give it away. And I'm going to name my harvest a horse. Now understand, we knew nothing about horses. We didn't have a barn. We didn't even have land to put a horse on. But because Matthew went to God and asked him for a horse, <laughs> I'm going to have to close on this. <laughs> Do you know within a week or two, someone called and said, the Lord told me to give you a horse. Well, why did he get it when we couldn't take care of it? Because he asked for it. So we ended up with a horse and had to learn how to take care of it and find a place for it and all of that. Point being, God wants to answer your prayers. So I'll pick up on this tomorrow. Remember all day that Jesus is Lord and thank God the word works.